Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon up on here again. Um, basically, I want to talk about the Daniel Fast that actually is starting tomorrow. The Daniel Fast start tomorrow at September 9th through the 29th, 21 days. That's fruits and vegetables only, period, end of story. Now, there is um, a way that we're doing this. From 5 a.m. to 3 p.m., nothing but juice, water, um, well, actually, not even juice, water, um, I guess, I guess it all depends on if you are working and you need a smoothie or something like that, but try to abstain from, um, orange juice, milk, you know, try to go, um, with tea, hot herbal tea or things of that nature because of your stomach. And I did put a um, video on there about mouse monroe fasting. So I'm going to reiterate that as well. Those that join, join. Notice I didn't even ask, well, who's with me? I join in, God tells you to or you don't, whatever. God bless everybody. Uh, so uh, also, so then after three o'clock, so from 5 a.m. to 3 p.m., just liquid. Now after 3 p.m., go ahead and eat you a light meal. Don't try to gorge, you know. Um, and all this is, is God's preparing his body of people for we're praying against all, all the things that happen all over the world. You know what I'm saying? But also you have to understand God is allowing a lot of things. So we're praying for the body of Christ to be ready for whatever God allows. Come on, somebody. Y'all got to understand that thing. Um, also for people to be saved. You're praying for your family, your friends. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Prayer. Prayer is the most important thing in your life. Prayer and fasting, they go hand in hand. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, if you don't pray, if you don't pray, then you can't fast effectively and it, they go hand in hand. So I pray that you understand. And also, my Bible is over there. Remember the prayer list. Get your form, you another prayer list or add to your prayer list that you have. You're supposed to be praying over that. Make sure to anoint yourself. Make sure to pray, 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 pray. I'm talking about. And also, I don't know why I keep saying this. If you desire to speak in tongues, you anoint yourself, put your hand over your um your neck. Father God, just give me the language in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You have to desire it. And now hold on, I gotta say this because a lot of people make people feel bad. If you don't desire it and you don't want it, God's not gonna give it to you. Nothing is wrong with you. You are still a child of God. You are still saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. I wish people stop lying. Stop saying that God don't deal with everybody the same way. But the higher you're calling, you will have to have your prayer language because <laughs> that warfare gets heavy, very heavy. You know, just to be honest with you, it's like people don't understand. We are living in a time to where you can't just pretend you're an apostle or prophet. That stuff is not flying because guess what? Whatever you pretend to be, that's the type of warfare that's coming at you. Y'all want to know why people are not, uh, are not, let me tell you something why people are falling because they're not processed. A lot of you, um, just to be honest with you, you have ordained people that weren't ready. And if you're not ready throughout your process, the enemy will, uh, it'll seem like too much for you. So stay in the process. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. I got to encourage you. I was looking at my videos and I put it on um, Facebook. You remember the, the singing videos, Below the Trumpet and also Wartime. And God, had he was ministering to me this morning. He said, Deanna, do you remember when you did this video? I said, yeah, it's 2008. He said, you wasn't ordained uh, apostle then. I didn't get ordained to 2014. I said, my God. He said, that's right. I had you prophesy over your own life and you didn't even, you didn't listen. Cause I wasn't, I wasn't where I am today. I just thought I was singing a song, you know? And when I listened back, I said, my God, I would think about it and hold on. I wasn't even talking about witches and warlocks back then. You know, I was talking about the new world art and stuff. So think about it. Now what I talk about, which is world lives, you understand? So it's like, God. And then when I talked about wartime, when I sang about wartime, when I got on the radio, I said, I want you to call the show Wartime. So I had to go and look. I said, wait a minute, didn't I do a song called Wartime? Y'all understand where this is going? Ooh, I hear you, God. God want me to tell you something. And I gave a word to a young lady this morning. And by the way, happy birthday um, again, Kenya. So let me tell you something about what's going on here. All right? Let me tell you something. I used to always say, God, when is it my time to get blessed? God told me to tell you, it's not that it's taking so long. It's just not your time, my brother. It's not your time, my sister. But in the time that you are waiting, 
You're supposed to be preparing. Don't get jealous. Of, that's why so much jealousy in the body of Christ right now. Because now you're looking at everybody that's like, why are they being blessed, God? I don't understand. No, no, no. Don't act like that. Say, God bless them. God keep them. Be happy for your brother. Be happy for your sister. That's what I did. And I still am. Come on, somebody. I see y'all blessed. God bless y'all. But I hope it's a true blessing. Now, if it's not a true blessing, I'm going to say something. I got no business. I'm going to tell you the truth. Because I'm like, wait a minute, something wrong. Because we can tell when it's anointing and when it's not. But I'm telling you right now. It does matter how you wait. Wait on God in a righteous way. As a matter of fact, while you're waiting, you're supposed to be preparing. That's why a lot of people are falling because guess what? They had a calling, but they didn't prepare. So now they're in that thing and they don't know how to stand. That's why y'all seen a lot of people fall. It's not that they didn't love God. It's not that they didn't have a calling of God. They don't know how to stand. Hallelujah. I couldn't understand why it took me 20 something years to get here. I said, God, you, you know I'm getting older, right? I said, hello? I wasn't ready. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm being transparent. I was not ready. My character was tainted. I had a, I had a mouth. I still got a mouth, but it's for God these days. Y'all can play crazy. Y'all know what I'm saying. I mean, I, my, my, my thinking was thinking. <laughs> you know, I'm the only one going to be transparent up in here. God has to get all that stuff out of you so you can stand before the people of God and say, thus say it, the Lord. Otherwise, you'd be saying all kind of stuff. That's why we have people talking about false doc doctrine now. That's why people are just saying all any kind of stuff because they're not learned. He made me go to Bible college. Then he made me come back around the way and go this way and that way. I learned from some of the most powerful people and did not understand. And, and I'm not necessarily going the way they went, but I'm going the way God has prepared for me. I'm not glorifying myself. I'm trying to tell y'all how to stand. And it does matter how you wait. Don't wait with an ugly heart. Don't be jealous of people. It's your time, says the Lord. When it's your time. And when you see other people getting blessed, say, it's just not my time. But God, God, let me tell you something. What God has said should surely come to pass. I think we have a problem with the timing. It's like, God, just wait, God says, and process while you wait. Do whatever he tell you. Tell you to take a course, take a course. If he tell you to stay still, stay still. Whatever it does, because your process is going to lead you to your greatness and your destiny. Hallelujah. You got to be processed because let me tell you something. The level of process will be the level of warfare. You know why a lot of people are falling? They were never prepared. Do you know how you waiting and just mad while you waiting and attacking people and being ugly and not doing what God called you to do? No. It does matter how you wait. Wait humble and then prepare yourself. I'm going to be ready. So when it's your turn, you just slide on in there. Come on, somebody, because process is real. And that's what you're seeing in the church today. A lot of people, that's why people, people are getting healed and delivered. Excuse me. And I hate to say it this way because when I do it, people think I'm attacking them. I'm not against education, but I'm seeing intelligence in the pulpit and not the anointing of God. Y'all ain't ready for me. I mean, they have eloquent speech. I'm just being real with you. But I don't see that that that, that yoke destroying, that that burden breaking. I'm talking about when you lay hands, when you speak. Come on, somebody. The power of God for real. That you can't learn in no college, baby. You can't get, I don't, no matter if you have a doctorate, honey, that stuff can only be by the power of the Holy Ghost. We're not that great. So just wait on God. Wait on God. Wait on God. And y'all better start getting along, God says. Church, y'all better start getting along. Church, y'all, I'm going to say it like this. We better start getting along. If we got a problem with each other, it's a way to do things. God is trying to, fivefold ministry, trying to bring us together. And only with a fist can we deliver a powerful blow. Hallelujah to his name. This stuff real. This stuff ain't no game. So that's why we fast. We don't fast because we're going on a diet. Because that don't work. Diets don't work. Y'all know that. We fast because God needs us to go before the throne and intercede for each other. Because truth be told, we all going through something. I don't care what you say. I don't care how much money you have or don't have. We're all going through. Everybody's hurting. So we're supposed to pray for each other, not pray on each other, not talk about each other like a dog and all that little crazy stuff. That's why we fast. So, you know, sometimes y'all ask me questions about the fast. You know, it's simple. From 5 a.m. to 3 p.m., just liquid. After 3 p.m., light you know, I mean, you can eat all you want if you want to, but I'm just saying if you're fasting, you might just want to eat a meal and then at night, maybe some carrots or a vegetable salad or something. I'm just saying you got to use wisdom. Also, I'm not trying to be ugly, okay? This is my third video per se, back to back to back. I know y'all don't understand this. And again, I'm not attacking nobody, okay? Please don't get upset because you know y'all be getting quickly upset. That's another thing. If you get quickly upset, 
you're not delivered from anger because it should be a slow. Well, I understand getting, you know, having concerns, but you have to be slow. This is my third video, especially if you're a student. This is one of the things I want to teach you in the class and out the class. I just got through doing these videos. It's ministering. I'm not getting ready to talk to you right now because now God got to replenish me. The only people that's going to ask me, can they talk to me right now, is people are trying to tempt me. And I, I know you don't know, but I'm just letting you know because I'm kind of weak right now. So why in the heck would I get on the phone with anybody? And I mean anybody because I need God to replenish me, replenish me, God, replenish me. Y'all better learn. I'm telling y'all things so y'all can be learned. Because when, when, when you are weak, that's when stuff can creep in. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. Not for real. All right, God bless you. I love you all through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Um, but I will resume maybe this afternoon talking to students or tomorrow morning. Uh, or tomorrow, period. So whatever God says, I, know, I want y'all to understand, I'm not a lazy person. I do what I got to do. Trust me. But I have to be obedient unto God first. God first. And if you don't learn that, you're going to learn that about me. Hallelujah. All right. Roll out soldiers, for that is who we are. God bless.